The wonderful news that we received was that Canada had delivered theirs being the 20th, and that has really put our celebrations into top gear. But at the same time, remaining aware that there are 170 countries in the world where the visually impaired and other print disabled readers are not going to benefit because their countries haven't yet ratified. It's only the countries, the 20 countries that have ratified that can go in on the 30th of uh, September to use the treaty and to send books cross border and, 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 and really use, get the treaty underway. And we have got this treaty from the date it was first uh, finalized in three years almost to the week, we've got this treaty operational and is really you know, going to make such a difference, such a difference to education, uh, to adults and leisure reading, a whole array for public information. So it, it, it really is a, uh, a groundbreaking treaty from the, the, the technical copyright uh, cross-border thing. It's a human rights treaty, so that's another uh, first within the, the WIPO copyright arena. Um, and we are just grateful for the support and encouragement we've had from the WIPO Secretariat and the member states. To us, the, we, we're celebrating, but it's not the end of the game. This is now the very beginning of the real, real phase. Looking ahead, there are some very significant uh, countries that we would like to come on board. Uh, Canada coming on board has been a great one and we hope that their neighbours, the United States, with its Chafee Amendment, with its great tradition and record in this area, will go international. So we really look forward to that. There, there are big countries in Africa, very significant, uh, economically significant, uh, politically leaders, and we would like to see them come forward and, and uh, uh, you know, sign on the dotted line. Europe is one of our big hopes. It's just a question of role models, I think, in region. I think it's a very positive scene, and I'm sure that the motivation will now come when the treaty actually goes in. It's no longer a theoretical treaty uh, that can just be kept down in the queue. It's now a real thing. And um, if you as a country are keeping it down, then a neighboring country will be having it. And therefore, you've got two blind communities cross-border. One can have accessible books. The other is still waiting unnecessarily.